your eyewitness weather forecast. Hey, good evening to you. I'm meteorologist Craig Flint. Hope you had a good weekend today. It's just gorgeous as we uh, put a wrap on July here, just hours away from August. As we take a look live downtown, there are a few of those puffy fair weather clouds, and there's even been a few showers. More on why that is coming up. I'm going to uh, kind of utter some words that I haven't had to use in a while. 70 right now, dew point is 53. Northwesterly winds driving in cooler air. Uh, so tonight, look at this down into the 40s and there will probably be a few brief sprinkles while you're sleeping because the air is cool enough that it could be in the lake effect variety mm -hmm. i said it i know not even into august yet but look at tomorrow august 1st barely 70. it's more like september 1st but it will be sunny, so you'll need to apply and reapply the sunscreen with a burn time of 15 minutes or less because I do expect a good deal of sunshine. Check out the low temperatures this morning in the 50s, Marcy to Rome, Verona, Utica, even some upper 40s in the nooks and crannies in Otsego County and up in the Adirondacks as well, upper 40s to near 50. Here's a look at Doppler radar. We had a few sprinkles. Uh, again, you can kind of make out that northwesterly flow uh, so there will be a few sprinkles around as we go through the overnight hours and while you're sleeping. One little guy there near Rome, a few up towards uh, Coldbrook and Herkimer County and towards like Little Falls and Dulgeville, some sprinkles there. Temperature right now 71, Marcy to Rome to Utica, Clinton as well, upper 60s, Richfield Springs, Cooperstown, Oneonta at 64 and in the mid 60s up in the Adirondacks. So again, as we take a look uh, kind of regionally here, we had that little band of showers come through, a uh, little reinforcing cold front, which is realigning the winds to the north and west. And again, with the cooler air, yeah, a little help from Lake Ontario. We look to the south, that's where all the heat is. So the excessive heat uh, has been suppressed uh, down across uh, Big D, little a, double L-A-S, and then over towards Houston and Louisiana, Mississippi. Uh, heat indices over 100. For us, not going to be the case much of this week. Look at tomorrow. Beautiful day. Partly to mostly sunny at times, but again, temperatures like 70, low 70s at best. Clear sky tomorrow night, which will be good to view the full sturgeon moon tomorrow night. And guess what? This month of August, there are going to be two full moons uh, in the month. So that means the second one will be a blue moon. Last time, that happened two years ago. You can only have a blue moon if it happens in the same month. And both of these will be classified as supermoons because the moon's orbit is not a complete circle. It's more elliptical, so it will be a little closer and I think at least tomorrow, it is going to be a sight to behold. Check out this sight to behold, August or September. Yeah, tomorrow only 70. Comfortable weather Wednesday, 76. Breezy, warmer, more humid again Thursday as some scattered showers and thunderstorms develop probably late in the day and then overnight. And there could be a few that linger into Friday morning, but I think it actually clears out Friday. Uh, less humid again, 75. Saturday looking good, more sunshine, 77, before clouds increase by the time we get to Sunday and into Monday with some scattered storms. High temperatures will be into the low 80s. What do you say about that, Jamie?